What's going on everybody? Gem Mint here back again with another statue unboxing and review, but not just another. This is one that I'm really excited for. This is a piece that I've owned in the past. It's actually my piece that I sold uh, for a statue that is a true masterpiece. The XM Studios Ghost Rider on Bike, one quarter scale statue. And what's funny about this is that I originally bought this statue before I even started this channel and I never got to do an unboxing and review. So that's what we're gonna do here today. Uh, I'm super excited. This box is huge and heavy. Let's get it on the floor. All right, first of all, I don't remember this box being so heavy, but very heavy box. We got it on the ground here. Let's take off the lid. Now the art print is not with this because the seller had it framed and is mailing that separately, but it does have the assembly booklet, which I remember really needing the first time I owned this statue. Uh, which is a really nice well put together book that shows where all the pieces are where they go uh, Although it did leave out a few by the motor Anyway, we'll go ahead and take off the straps take off the lid actually had to remove the entire styrofoam because he did have it taped as well Which was good. So we'll take off the top layer here. We have uh, man impressive pieces already Let's remove the plastic and the paper here and get a good look at these guys. So that orange is so vibrant already getting excited here. So first let's take out some of the smaller pieces. We have the handlebars, uh, so no big deal. Those go into the bike and then his left hand. Then we have those motor pieces that I mentioned and I'll show you during the assembly where this goes. However, I don't remember where this piece goes. Then we have some of the flames. Now this is more of a dull type of orange. But uh, right away, I just always love the flames on this statue. And, and I'll talk more about that as we look at the other pieces of flame, because right now we have one of the most important pieces, the front wheel. Love the movement, love the sculpt. The vibrant orange looks amazing. That uh, skull on the front looks great as well. Just kind of one of the eye-catching parts of this piece. Then we have the portrait. Now there's a custom portrait that looks good, that lights up. I always thought this was the best one. I mean, the original portrait for this is great. The fire, the skull, they nailed everything about this portrait. Then we have the body just kind of laid back, but it really has great textures within the leather jacket, the belt buckles, the spikes everywhere, the leather boots. So it's just kind of like dull, laid back, all black, but uh, really well done. Then the bike itself so fire wheel on the back love the design of this it's so crazy how they had this entire quarter scale motorcycle with the plate that shows the addition size flames coming up from the top great detail paint applications amazing onto the second layer let's go ahead and remove the plastic there and this one has a lot of fire so Let's start by looking at these pieces of flame. This is one of the bigger ones. This is where the front wheel will actually key into as it goes into the base. And I just feel like XM Studios was just so far ahead of their time with this piece. It looks like a piece that would come out right now. At a time where so many companies were doing translucent resin for fire, they did this solid painted look and it was just perfect. So iconic uh, to the pig Ghost Rider. All these flames just dance, have great coloring to them. Uh, and here's here's a nice one on the chain here so that'll bridge two of the other pieces of the chain together so that it wraps around his body the last couple of pieces of flame here mixed in with the rock kind of giving it some motion like he's actually tearing up the gravel the last little piece of flame here as we get into the chain so this chain has a big piece of fire on it as well it has the spike it, it'll lay across the handlebars and then the rest of the pieces will go around his shoulder to wrap around his body like I mentioned. And what's funny about this piece is the base is kind of small. It's got a lot of weight to it to support everything that's going on. But you can see all those color keyholes. Uh, you can see all the skulls there and just kind of that scorched molten lava earth. Uh, and before we get into the assembly, I do want to thank that Spider-Man booth for sponsoring the video. You got to check them out on Whatnot. They're absolutely crushing it over there and are having a big anniversary sale tomorrow, Tuesday, starting at 9 a.m. Pacific. So make sure to swing on over to their auction and follow me on Whatnot as well while you're over there. All right, so base is on the table. Let's just start color coding all the pieces of flame in first. That's really what you want to get in there. And then the bike will actually go last. So we're getting all those pieces in. They go in pretty easy, as you can see. 
So we'll get all these last pieces of flame in. And th the front and back pieces are those longer pieces. And they go in really, really easily. Lastly, we'll sit the bike down. All right, then that little piece of motor, this is how you kind of put it through the uh, bike here. All right, so then we'll put on that front tire. It slides into a groove and then it keys into the flame here. Then we'll get Johnny Blaze onto the bike here so he'll key in. And then, like I said, those handlebars will go into the bike and into his left hand. All right, so then, like I said, uh, the chain will swoop over his right arm, kind of into that second spike is where I like to do it. And then it'll go into the back of his hand where there's a magnet for it. All right, then we can go ahead and put in the other piece of chain that'll swoop around to his back. This piece of flame will act as a bridge uh, for the two pieces of chain and it keys into the side of the bike there. So it kind of holds it in place sturdy. Then it'll swoop up across over the handlebars uh, where it, it has two keyholes on the horns. Get the portrait in there and we are set. Wow guys, here we have it. So I gotta admit, this is day two of recording this video. Day one is all the stuff that you guys just saw with me doing the unboxing and everything. And uh, I'm just kind of doing the video, you know, going through the motions. But I come up here this morning to film the rest of it, and I see this piece on the desk. It's just amazing, man. It's a true masterpiece. I believe XM Studios considers it to be their best piece ever. And whether you agree with that or not, it's got to be top three. Like, what else do you have? XM's uh, Magneto on Throne and Hulkbuster probably up there, plus a lot of other great pieces. I mean... When XM hits a piece out the park, they absolutely nail it. For me, and I think a lot of collectors, we like to collect the definitive version of a statue that defines a character, right? You only need one statue of it because it just nails it. I think that's easily it for Ghost Rider when it comes to this piece. Now, granted, there aren't a lot of options. There's a great custom out there, which looks great as well, but this one is just so classy and iconic. And when you go to think about how many years ago uh, this came out uh, the retail price was 990 Singapore dollars which is like 700 USD at the time edition size of 999 and uh, I would call it a grail I think it's a true grail in this hobby although like the term grail gets thrown around loosely I don't use it a lot uh, and it's really reserved for something that money is not an object and it's still difficult to obtain like that's a true grail and I'm not really too sure how available this is on the market. Maybe one does pop up every now and then. I, I would doubt it that it's often. Uh, and that's what would really define it as a grail. But for me, it's a piece that I own, this exact piece. I ended up selling it due to whatever reasons at the time. And uh, I got an opportunity to buy it back from the person who I sold it to for the same price, which was a good deal then. And it's a good deal now. It was $1,900, uh, which is well over retail. Uh, a price that this piece definitely deserves and I'm so happy that I brought it back into the collection I really got to thank XM for making the XM uh, Ghost Rider on horse statue which made me really realize that I really needed to track this one down and it's got me thinking if I should be picking up just kind of choice pieces like that for the collection just character defining statues and I have a couple in mind that I might hunt down but a, an amazing piece from XM Studios. Like I said, that small, simple base, but then when you see it all together with the flames in the front and the back, with the wheel, with the whole dynamic bike kind of coming from hell, looking like it's raising upward uh, with Ghost Rider lean back on there, screaming skull, flaming portrait, totally amazing piece. Extremely heavy, you basically have to dismantle it to move it, which was one of the things I didn't like about it, but it's a small price to pay for such an amazing statue. But enough about uh, me rambling on about it. Let me know what you think about the XM Studios Ghost Rider on bike in the comments down below. As always, man, thanks for watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.